Okay, uh, this, um, this is the first successful mixy tube that I've made. Um, you can look at the other two videos to see how they're made. I didn't show in this video the procedure of making the tube. Uh, there's no reason to repeat all the information, um, the, the procedures again. Uh, so if you want to see the actual mechanics of making the tube, look at the first two videos. Um, this one was made in the same way as the uh, second attempt, that is using parts of an old TV tube for the envelope and the base and epoxy to seal it. And this worked completely excellent and sealed this time. Um, okay, take a look. Okay, here's the latest one that I made. <laughs> it's kitty cat. And if I go ahead and take this lead, he winks at you. Uh, it's, it's hard to do because I'm just using a clip lead here. But, uh... <laughs> see, if I adjust the voltage on it, he goes out. Made this one in the same way. I went ahead and put the epoxy. This is JB Weld. Um, just sealing the to bottom on the tube. And on the top, I just used JB Weld to seal the uh, evacuation stem on. And um, it's only got the two electrodes. It's got one electrode for the main cat face itself, and then the other one for the blinking eye. So um, when you disconnect the blinking eye, it goes just to the eyelid closed, and you connect it up, and then the eye is open. So um, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and leave that overnight and we'll see whether it holds up. Now I put two getters in this one and flashed them really heavily uh, so that um, it would have lots of getter material so in case there's um, a lot of outgassing because this is a larger tube. You notice this one's about an inch and a, in, it's, it's about one and three-eighths diameter. It's a large size tube so that makes it to where it's um, a uh, lot more area in there to outgas. But um, We'll see whether it leaks. Okay. Here we are three days later. And our kitty is still glowing just beautifully. Um, he still winks at us. And um, we're having no problem whatsoever. There's not the slightest indication of a leak at all. So what I'm going to declare is that using JB Epoxy is a valid way of sealing a homemade Nixie tube. I mean, this looks like it's going to work. Now what I will do is I will, um, on the blog, um, I'll go ahead and um, keep an update um, week by week on, um, on how this tube holds up. But I'm seeing no evidence whatsoever of leakage at all. The the getter is not changing shape or receding at all up in the top of the tube. So so this one is sealed good and um, I, I pumped this one all day long so it has a lot more uh, uh, outgassing uh, taken care of. It, it was outgassed a lot better during pump down. Now uh, for those of you who did not see the other video on the construction of this um, you can watch that one. Uh, Nixie 2, Nixie uh, Second Attempt is the one that shows how I made the epoxy tubes. And the How to Make a Homemade Nixie Tube first video was showed the glass work. But this one does not use any glass work. Okay, we, we took an old uh, television tube. Um, this is a, a, it's got an inch and three-eighths diameter. This is one of the largest uh, television tubes there is. We used the diamond saw to cut it off. And we left about... Um, oh, three eighths of an inch from the base. We 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 can't leave too much sticking up. Otherwise, we can't get down in there with the welder to weld the pins. Um, so we leave about three eighths of an inch of the glass on there for uh, making the epoxy seal. Okay. Now, what caused the first one to fail was that I took and overlapped the glass. Now, this inherently is bad as far as thermal expansion is concerned because the expansion is as the square of the diameter so 
if you have a larger piece than a smaller piece, you're going to have this one expanding at x squared and this one expanding at x squared minus you know that that distance. So you're going to have a difference in the coefficient of expansion between the two sizes of glass, and that was what caused the first one to to shatter. Now the evacuation stem is put on with with JB weld too. I, I just ground the top of the tube, cut a hole in it, um, the size of the tube, and uh, stuck the evacuation stem on there with the uh, JB weld. Um, now this one down here, the the main joint is just a butt weld. I just I just took the 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 first thing you do is you get it and use the uh, diamond uh, abrasive wheel on your Dremel tool to go ahead and carefully get the surfaces to where they join up fairly close. Now this this is quite a trick to do. You got to be very careful because the glass is very brittle and it tends to um, to shatter. Um, it took me six envelopes to finally get a good one. I, I broke the other five. And this is a possible disadvantage to using old um, vacuum tubes like this. It may not be practical. Um, what I'm going to do on another tube is I'm going to make a Pyrex one out of Pyrex tubing, which is commonly available cheap, and join it onto the base, which is soft glass. But instead of overlapping, like I did in the first one, I'm just going to do the butt joint like I did on this one and see whether that'll do. Because the epoxy has a small amount of flex and that will make up the difference between the expansion ratio of Pyrex and the soft glass, or at least I think it will. But we'll try it. We'll, I'm going to make another one and we'll try that and see. Because if we can use Pyrex for the envelope, it's very easy uh, glass blowing job to take the Pyrex, uh, close the envelope end down, and put an evacuation step. This this is very easy. Um, any of you can learn it in um, you know a matter of a week or so of experimenting. Um, of course, you need to have you know oxygen torch to do it. You can't do it with a with an air torch if you're working Pyrex. Now working soft glass, doing that same thing with soft glass is possible. However, there is a gotcha with soft glass. It is very difficult to find soft glass in larger diameters. You can find soft glass up to about one inch diameter, 25 millimeters diameter. But getting uh, larger diameters of soft glass is, is very difficult. You don't find it uh, on, on the websites and things. So this means that when you order it, there's usually a minimum order of one case. So you're talking about having to buy a whole case of one size, which, you know, it can run you, um, you know, $250, $300. And you'll have an awful lot of glass, <laughs> an awful lot of it. It's, you know, it's, it, per foot it's not expensive, but you have to buy so much of it. So that's a disadvantage because uh, with Pyrex you can buy you know, single sticks of it. There, there are companies all over that will sell you a single stick of it. You'll pay more for the shipping than you will the stick of glass if you buy one. But uh, you don't have to buy a whole um, you don't have to buy a whole case of Pyrex. So uh, that that looks like um, you know using these old TV tubes, which are available on eBay for a buck a piece. I mean, you can find them all over the place for a buck a piece. These 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 have no use whatsoever in any kind of electronic application. So they're just uh, you know people um, who want to use them for you know like this are the only people who are going to have any use for them at all. And um, you know these people who have all these tons of tubes are glad to get rid of the darn things at a buck a piece. I mean, you know just. Uh, um, you know, they've got, you know, tens of thousands of them and there's no use for them at all. Um, so we have uh, our first completely successful Nixie tube here. And, and I'm calling this not a Nixie tube because technically speaking, Nixie tubes are number tubes. Um, uh, they're, they're not... Um, they're not really uh, other than number tubes. They, I mean, some Nixie tubes had letters in them. Um, but uh, I'm going to call this... Nixie tube art. They're Nixie art. And Nixie art is going to be any Nixie tube that has something other than numbers in it. You know, like a little figure like this, an animated figure, um, or any kind of an artistic uh, theme to it, rather than just a simple number. So that, that's what I'm going to make up right now, is the term Nixie art. And it'll be Nixie tubes that, um, that have some kind of an artistic uh, flair to them. Um, just no, no real... Uh, practical use for them other than just an artistic uh, endeavor. 
Uh, it was definitely a lot of fun making this too. This is the uh, second one I made. Uh, the first one I had almost finished and you know being a complete klutz I dropped it and shattered it and I, I was so mad I was about to just say hell with it all and not make another one but then you know it, I cooled off and got busy and this one turned out great and I'm glad I did it because um, uh, this is my first successful completely successful Nixie tube. <laughs> Look at that kitty! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, oh, somebody on the on the blog um, put in there, um, who, you know, what do you have to do to get your initials in a Nixie tube? And um, you know, they said, well, JB was was one of them on there. Uh, Jen's something. I, I I can't remember his last name. And um, then the the other fellow said, well, I guess somebody with W O W was the other one, but that wasn't anybody's initials. It was just I was wow, this is fun, and that's that's where the wow came from. It's just this is fun. And it is, it's an awful lot of fun to do this. Now, I'm preparing a website, and I'll, I'll have this, the website online, um, you know, in another week or so. It's, it's a lot more work than I thought it would be. And I'm going to have a, an awful lot of information on there, uh, because I see from your, your blogs and stuff that um, a lot of you are having a, a lot of trouble. Uh, things that I've gone through... Uh, some of you are off on the wrong track. You're just completely off in the weeds, and, and I can help you uh, get straightened out to where you don't have anywhere near as much trouble as what you're going to. And, um, you know, get to where you can put together some glowing tubes here. Um, because, the, 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 you know, sealing the vacuum and stuff can be a daunting task. I mean, I went through an, an awful lot of problems sealing the vacuum system. Um, and I can show you what to do to um, take care of that. Um, Okay, well that's it for the first working Nixie tube, the, the, the cat, winking cat Nixie. <laughs> that's it till next time. We'll have another Nixie tube. I'm going to make a cowboy Nixie next. And that's going to test uh, the difference between using Pyrex and an old tube base. And it'll be a cowboy. That's going to be a neat one. Another, another piece of Nixie art coming up. That's it till next time.